guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I've been doing my makeup recently. This is going to be my everyday makeup routine. Yeah. Let's get started. So I'm first going to use my Bobbi Brown Tinted Lip Balm in Raspberry. And it's just this really pretty pink color. I'm just going to use this to moisturize my lips and to keep them moisturized while I do all my makeup. So now we're just gonna jump right in and I'm gonna do my face makeup. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and my Pearl Essence Coconut Rose Hydrating Face Mist and just dampen it a little bit. For foundation, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. It just looks like this. This is really handy, especially if you're on the go and you don't wanna take a huge bottle with you. You just take your beauty sponge and you just push it in there and the product comes out. This foundation is more of a light to a medium coverage, but you can totally build it up to however much coverage you want. I just like to keep it a little bit light, especially since it's still summertime and I just don't want to kick makeup onto my face. After that's blended all over my face, I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So I'm just going to apply it in all of the places I want to conceal and highlight. Once again, to blend it out, I'm going to take my beauty sponge. Now we're gonna powder really fast because we don't want anything to crease. So I'm gonna use my Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder and a powder brush. This is from the brand Olivia Lane and I just got it at TJ Maxx. It's just a tapered powder brush and I'm just gonna powder everywhere. I'm gonna move on to do my eyebrows using the e.l.f. brow pencil and I'm in the shade taupe. So I'm gonna show you how I do my eyebrows. What I first do is I'm just gonna comb both of them upwards so we have all the hairs straight. And then I'm gonna just start with one and do that whole thing and then move on. So what I do is I make a line all the way underneath my eyebrow. And I also let it extend more between my brows. With that line, I take my spoolie and I blend this up into the eyebrow hairs just so it gives a nice base color to fill the rest in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. I'm just gonna outline how high I want my arch and all that stuff, so. And then I go in and do the front part and I just do upward strokes to make them look like little hairs. And then after that, I just swipe away that excess line right here. So this is usually what it comes out to be. I'm gonna do my other eyebrow off camera and I'll be right back and finish it up. Throughout the day um, and throughout my makeup routine, I do a little bit of touch ups here and there to my eyebrows just in case, um, so yeah. For eyebrow gel, I use this Milani Easy Brow Tinted Fiber Gel, and this is actually a dark brown, but I do have dark roots, so I think it looks fine. Then I move on to my eyes. So the first thing that I do is I first just apply whatever eyeshadow I want to do that day, and recently, especially during the summertime, I like really bright colors and like shimmer and stuff, so I just take my highlighter palette. This is the Aurora Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and... I take the two shades that I highlight with and I honestly just use my finger for this. I apply it all over my lid and then I like to highlight my inner corners with this. Sometimes I do go a little crazy with my inner corner highlight but whatever. Now I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I use the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in jet black. So I just take it and I really, really wipe it off on the sides just so I can get a nice thin line with the side of the brush because it is a little bit 
wider and I think that's super weird but it's fine. My liner never looks the same. Like every single day it's always different but usually I just go with it. So I start out on the end and I work my way up to create the wing and then I usually fill it in. Sometimes I go all the way to the inner corner but sometimes I also go halfway so we'll just see what I want to do today. Now I'm going to move on to mascara but first I just like to curl my eyelashes. I recently have been using two different mascaras. The first one I'm going to use is my MAC Probion Twisted Lash. And this is more as a base mascara for me. And then I just go in with my Better Than Sex mascara. And this is my favorite. Are we dreaming? And then I just take a Q-tip and clean off whatever mascara got where it's not supposed to be. And also recently I haven't been putting any mascara on my bottom lashes. I don't know why, it's just what I've been doing. So this is just what my eyes look like when I'm finished. Now I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my face and we'll be good to go. I'm first gonna start with bronzer. I just use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. And I take another Olivia Lane brush and I do a little bit of contouring. Once it looks a bit harsh, then I just go ahead and blend it out to a more of a bronze look. For blush, I use my Smashbox Blush Rush in Radiance. It's just this really pretty bright pink. And then I take my Kala 482 Blush Brush and I just add some color back into my face. Then I'm going to do highlighter. I'm taking another Olivia Lane brush. This is my big fan brush and my Anastasia Glow Kit. And I take Eclipse and Luna, the same colors I did for my eyes, on the brush, tap it off, and then just swipe it on. Then I'm just going to take a clean Q-tip and my Coconut Rose Face Mist. And I'm going to spritz it a little bit. And then I just like to clean off whatever makeup I got on my lips. And then I'm just gonna apply some Carmex just for more moisture. And then to top it all off, I'm gonna take my mist again and spray my whole face. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also comment down below any other video suggestions you have for me. All my social medias will be down below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. And again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.